Once we confirm the clinical diagnosis and prepare the patient for the surgery, we need to do basic investigations to assess the blood sugar level, at the same time the hemoglobin level, kidney function and serum electrolytes. If a patient has hypertension or any other comorbidities, a cardiologist will assess the patient and check the heart whether he is fit for surgery. At the same time, if the patient is having diabetes, we need to control sugars and optimize the patient for the surgery. Once all these things are done, the patient is ready for surgery. In today's context, it is very important to understand whether the patient is taking any blood thinners. If a patient is on blood thinners like aspirin, clopidogrel or warfarin, we need to stop these medications at least one week before the surgery. Otherwise, we will come across with serious bleeding during the surgery. These are the basic investigations that we have to do. And once it is done, anesthetists will have to see the patient and then optimize the patient for the surgery. Once we do all these things, the patient will be fit to undergo a safe surgery.